Hi, Glenn Hausman here for Here to Stay TV, powered by Bridge Street. We're at the Service Department Summit Recharge in Berlin. I found one of our good friends of Here to Stay TV, Virginia Riley, CEO of CL Capital. The last time we met, we had, I had a great hard hat tour of your stowaway place in Waterloo, which is in London. You know that, but they may not know that. So what has been going on over there? It must be great that it's so open now. It is. Hi, Glenn. Hi. Really good to see you. Uh, so Waterloo has been trading since end of October. Mm -hmm. So we're two and a half months in. We're very, very excited. Uh, the, the ADRs and the rates generally have been much higher than what we originally anticipated. Mm -hmm. Occupancy states taking a little bit longer to ramp up. We currently have our first three months guest uh, staying a at three the three month guest in an 18.4 square meter room, which wow. is actually very exciting. That's now you should know that um, the whole concept is restored shipping containers, which is really cool. Creating it's a great visual aesthetic for the property. People are totally connecting to it, huh? They are, they are. We've had some guests staying at the property just because it was repurposed shipping containers. Right. We've had some guests literally showing up and not really expecting it to be containers. Right. But it, the feedback's been absolutely fabulous. So we're very, very happy and guest reviews have been very good. On and that you've one. got another one coming on, on the way, yes, up in Manchester? Very much so. So we completed on the acquisition last mm -hmm. summer. So it's an existing apart hotel, so very, very different to the Waterloo project right. from an exterior <laughs> or external appearance perspective. And we literally just had planning before Christmas to repurpose or actually redevelop the building from 84 to 172 bedroom mm -hmm. apart hotel, stowaway, obviously branded. Yep. That's, uh, that, that's excellent. So where is this all headed to? You think you're going to add a lot more of these, these properties as customers continue to flock towards this particular market? We are definitely planning to do a lot more. We've been working on something else in the city of London, mm -hmm. which we're particularly excited about. We're very keen on obviously Edinburgh, mm -hmm. possibly Glasgow yep. um, and other uh, UK cities. But uh, we're actually very excited about Europe as well. We've started looking at Germany and, uh, and hopefully Paris as well. Oh, so more to come. Uh, very nice. Well, I'm very excited for you. I'd start to ask you more questions about the London thing, but then you'll just give me nasty looks and that won't, that's not going to work out. <laughs> Great. So uh, any final thoughts about what you see here at the conference we're attending here about service departments, alternative accommodations, and the rapidly changing nature of what the hospitality industry is. I mean, what, we're, what I'm certainly taking from this conference is that everyone's working a lot harder to mm -hmm. cater to our customers' needs at the end of the day. Right. They're all a lot savvier than they ever were before, and that's, that's just a fact. We need to learn from their habits, and I think that's what we're doing to a certain extent with Stowaway. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to be all things to all people, so integrating all the services by right. partnering up with the right professionals is really the direction we're going to be heading. Um, I said yoga right. concepts and the, the right gyms and the right uh, food and beverage operators, whether it's a, a local Manchester coffee company right. guy or Excellent. others. Yeah, I, I think all of that, that makes sense. And she's really on a lot of the major trends today. That's why I love what you guys are up to at uh, CL Capital. So for Vedran and myself, Glenn, thanks for watching here to Stay TV.